Hey everyone, um, just wanted to show you the things which I'm using right now in my work. Uh, first I want to show you the stand which I drawn. Yep, that's the stand which I drawn. It's actually a book stand. So it's kind of weird. For some reason I draw here better than on a normal, um, a normal table. I don't know why. It just happens that, um, I don't know, everything is eye leveled for me for some reason. Oh, this is a spoiler for my story. He's the seventh character which I'm working on, just a surprise character there. So yeah, you got a spoiler there. Let me show you the rest of the stuff then. Now, I usually keep my stuff uh, stacked somewhere. I usually have like a bag to put all my colors and all things I'm using in there. But I decided to kind of to like show you guys what am I using. Um, some magazines actually for fashion reference and uh, furniture and stuff. This is actually my favorite drawing book. Yes, I have a how to draw book. It's it's really great. It has like a lot of things together. Yeah, this is an Arabic, so I probably don't understand anything from it. That's my dictionary. It's very old, by the way. Uh, for blue. <laughs> Tablet. Yeah, I don't even use it that much. I just started using it recently. Um, Faber Chapel 24 Colors Grip. Very six package. Um, Faber Castle pen Pencils. Right here. Director Pen. Quite huge. This is actually Uniball. This is 0.5. I actually have the 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. Just so you, you know, because I get a lot of that question a lot. What kind of uh, inking pen you use? I, this one's great and it's water and fade proof. The only way to kind of erase it is through a special type of eraser. Uh, this is actually the eraser. This part it erases um, ink and pens. Well, this part is just for normal, um, normal pencils, and again, I just want to show you something about my pencils. I got the range from H to 6 B, so that's like H, H, B, B, 2 B, 3 B, and 12 B. Uh, here is, uh, something else. This is actually, uh, I use this in color in black, so it's kind of a marker. This is how thick it is. Um, this is actually, um, I use it in typing on my CDs and the same time coloring, so it's 2 in 1. Um, for some reason I'm keeping like, this, these are like old, uh, black pencil colors. I'm not sure why am I keeping them, I just keep them. This is my old tripod, which I used to put on my camera. See how... See how small it is compared to my other one. My other one is like it's like 55 inch. I don't know how big this is, but I think it's about five inch or so. Yeah, I used to like stack books and just put my camera on it. But now with my new tripod, it's much easier. And this is actually um, this kind of a laser, which is like play a little bit. I keep it here because it's very sticky. Yeah, this is an eraser. You shape it wherever you like and then uh, erase it. Make stuff with it. So I'm just gonna bite this and it'll stick with my other stuff. Some duct tape. Uh, PS2 memory card. Oh, I use this is like an old medicine bottle that my mom has. I fill this with water and I use uh, this in one on more coloring uh, some lead. And again, these. Um, ones which I told you, this one erase pens, and this one erase pencils, some sharpeners, my iPod, really old. Um, this is my backup stash for pencils and markers here, or actually lining pencils, they're, I, they're like dusted, man, they need to be dusted, but I also keep here my brushes, as you can see I've got a handful of brushes right here. 30, a 30 centimeter 
um, roller that's almost 12 inch. Also got some shape rollers here, another 20 centimeter, this one is squares, this roller. And a bunch of dusted pencils. I want to show you this too. Now this is a very peculiar looking ruler. I've got three sizes of them. These are actually used for swords. So you can see here, it's actually used for um, curved swords. And I've got three sizes of them. So I can uh, use them in any type of uh, size of sword I want. A bunch of rulers and a bunch of more rulers. Actually, I want to show you the bubbles. Here's one of the bubbles, um, I guess. This one is a circle. And as far as the oval ones are here. And here's some letters and stuff and different sizes, different kind of figures. Of course, no need to tell you about my colors. You already know them because I did like tons of videos on my colors. Just, alright. Show you anyway. Favorite cancel 48 bar pencil colors, more bar colors. Uh, so this is kind of a quick tour. Oh, I need to clean this stuff up for the things I'm I'm currently using 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 in my work. And you've got even a little sneak peek at my new character there. I'm still working on him, all right. So I'm still like working. I like the basic concept of him. I'm still working on the um, his eyes. Yeah, eyes and some other things. So it's still a really early process. Plus, um, I got two other characters too. Uh, Cordelia and Ace, if you know them. Probably you know a little bit about Cordelia. She's in the very first chapter of Mystic Star. I haven't really shown you Ace a lot, maybe in some of my um, just quick videos there. Anyways, I'll be sure to make videos to introduce you to them later. Oh, and by the way, I've noticed that YouTube now you can record up to 15 minutes to make a video. So that means my drawing tips video will be a little bit longer, you know, more than 10 minutes. So I think that will be a lot better for a lot of people. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my uh, messy workstation here. And I'll see you in another video later.